From runway to railway, every girl needs a great pair of jeans in her closet, but from straight leg to boot cut, how can you find the best pair for you? Well, joining us this morning with her tips is personal stylist Jill Marinelli. Good morning, Jill. Good morning. Now, you were saying this must be on the top of uh, all your clients' list, is I need a it's, pair of jeans. Absolutely. It's one of the number, the, the first questions that I get asked when I meet with a client. How do I, where do I go? How do I know what kind of jeans to get? What do I do? So, I like to, I like to say, first of all, that I think every woman should have at least one pair of designs designer jeans. There's a huge difference. Obviously the price is higher, <laughs> but the, as a friend of mine says, they transform your body. Okay. So when you're thinking about investing in that pair of jeans, you want to spend some time trying on. Okay, mm -hmm. you need to kind of budget this into your mindset as far as I'm not just going to run into a store, try on one pair, and it's going to work out. Right. You want to go in. That never happens. Nope, that never <laughs> happens. We all know that, right? So you want to go in, get help from the salespeople, get help from a personal stylist. Um, let them help you. Go in with five, six, seven, even eight pairs of jeans, and and as you go, you're going to see the difference in what looks good and what doesn't. And I brought okay. some jeans to kind of show as like some demonstrations today. Yeah. Let's start with the ones so. on the table too. I'm yeah. already drawn by this color and the way that it's kind of making a, a shine in the light yeah. here. Yeah, so we've got these green and black. These are called coated denim, and okay. they've got that little bit of sheen to them. Mm -hmm. you got to be a little wary of these, though, because when you have shininess in your clothing, it actually visually expands your body. So if you're someone who's okay. very self-conscious about your leg area, you probably don't want to do a coated jean. And if you do, you'll gotcha. want to go black and not so much in a color. Okay. But if you're someone that has like skinny, pin little legs, then go shiny, go color, go crazy on the bottom because you can afford to expand that part of your body. Definitely. I always say, when in doubt, if you're not sure what jeans to buy, go with a dark wash, an even dark wash in a boot cut. And okay. I have this great pair of page jeans here. All these jeans are from Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. And I, re I highly recommend them because they have so many different designers. These pair by page are a nice even wash. They've got a little fading in here, but nothing crazy, okay. and a nice wide bottom. And what that does is it balances out a hip. So when in doubt, go with a bootleg. Okay. Gotcha. And it's, I feel like you can kind of dress those up or down. Oh, because absolutely. They're so dark. And that's what I love about a nice designer jean. You can mm -hmm. dress them up or dress them down. Another pair here, I've got your basic skinnies. Now these are designer, but they're a little bit less, okay? So okay. cut from the cloth from Nordstrom. Definitely recommend these. Mm -hmm. They're a great pair of jeans, and they're a little more affordable than some of the designer jeans like a Paige or a Joe's that can definitely get up there. Gotcha. Um, with skinny jeans, you just want to be careful. If you're very full in the hip, mm -hmm. you want to put a boot on the bottom because that will expand the bottom of your leg and balance out the hip. Gotcha. It's all about that balancing out and keeping I like even. The, yeah, there's a certain jean for the body type, so I like that you're kind of, you know, help, helping out the ladies over there because everyone loves jeans. They're comfortable, but you can also kind of, you know, get away with wearing them to dinner, to the office, yeah. whatever it may be. and the thing be. about jeans now is that everything has stretch in it. Yeah. So the other tip that I do want to share with you is that when you buy a pair of designer jeans, you want them to be really tight when you first buy them, like almost crazy tight because okay. over the, throughout the day, they're going to stretch out. Gotcha. And nobody wants like that dumpy bum when you, when you stretch out. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Sure, we just <laughs> did. Uh, no dumpy bum here. No dumpy bum. So these are not your daughter's jeans. Okay. And some people get a little bit weirded out by the name of them, but yes. they are for anybody, I tell you. I've put these on clients who, and their daughters are three years old. Okay. So it's it's not like in, they're just for an older woman with a daughter who's maybe 30 or 40. No, these are for everybody. They come gotcha. up a little bit higher, and they offer a lot of support in the tummy area, but they're extremely flattering and still cool. Okay. So these are a fantastic jeans. Still as well. cool, I like that. When you said not yes. your daughters, I said I don't have a daughter, so they're definitely not my daughter's jeans. But yes, okay. exactly. <laughs> but I think that the name throws people off, but mm -hmm. they're actually like a very stylish flattering jean. Okay. And then I pulled a black legging jean because I think that these can work for almost everyone. Again, if you're fuller in the hip, you want to do a boot on the bottom, mm -hmm. but talk about comfortable. Feel these. They're like sweats. Oh, wow. But they are comfortable. They look like a jean. So again, talk about dressing mm -hmm. them up or dressing them down. Take off your boots and sit on the couch and you're in your pajamas. I think I could wear <laughs> these uh, a couple times a week for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for you're coming welcome. in. All great finds. And if you want more of Jill's styling tips online, you can head to WPRI.com and click on the road show.